In Windows Server 2019, we have the ability to turn on a recycling bin, and that is for Active Directory. And what that allows us to do is if we accidentally delete an object in Active Directory, we can get it back using this recycling bin feature. So in Server Manager, we'll go to Tools, and we'll want to open up Active Directory Administrative Center. And that's the only place we can get to this using a graphical interface. You can do this all by PowerShell as well. And once we've clicked on our domain, we can see that there are no deleted items option. So that means our recycle bin is not turned on. So if you go over to the right, we have the option here to enable the recycle bin. So we'll click on enable. And by the way, all your uh, Active Directory domain controllers must be online in order for this to work. Click on enable. And we have the option to click OK, and it will enable it, and there's no way to disable it. Now, there's really no good reason to disable it, in my opinion, so I wouldn't worry too much about doing this. So before I do that, what I want to do is I want to go in and show you some users. So I'm going to create a new user, and we'll just call it Test. And you have to enable this recycle bin before if something gets deleted and then you enable it, you're not going to be able to get it back using this method. You'll have to get it back from backup, but there's also some PowerShell commands too that are out there. Uh, click on Enable Recycle Bin, click OK, and it says please refresh the administrative center. So we'll click OK, and when we refresh, we should see this new Deleted Items option. There it is, Deleted Objects. And now we're going to go back to Active Directory Users and Computers, and I'm going to delete Test. There we go. Now we'll go into Deleted Objects. There's my Test. Now I can click over here on Restore. Now I can restore to a specific OU or just back to where it was. There's my Restore. Back to Active Directory Users and Computers. Hit Refresh and test is now back. So that's how you enable the Active Directory Recycle Bin. And sometimes you will get some errors that are very difficult to troubleshoot when you enable a Recycle Bin. So uh, you will have to do some research uh, if you end up getting an error when you try to enable it. But in general, you want to make sure you have all of your domain controllers turned on and you want to run this from whichever server is going to be running all of your master FSMO roles or operations master roles. So if you take a look, you can see that this particular server is also running the master roles. So if you do that on that particular domain controller, you should be okay as long as all your DCs are up and running.